Hey everybody, Texas Redleg here. Wanted to discuss a pretty important topic today. <clears throat> and that is the topic of home security. I know we touched on some lethal slash non-lethal force issues last video I did, but let's talk about home security today. And basically I'm gonna cover two areas. Uh, the first area being what I just call basic, and the second area or you know second tier of that would be called enhanced. So basic and enhanced. So let's talk about basic home security. You know, do you have appropriate exterior lighting? Does your is your front door, you know, area lit up where if somebody shows up, you can look out a window, see who they are, or whatever the case might be as far as that goes. Um, do you have effective locks on your doors and your gates around your house? Um, do you have a peephole in your door? You know, something to look at, like a hotel room. If you don't, get one put in. They're very su they're super easy to put in. Uh, you can, it takes you about five minutes. Um, to do it. You can do it yourself. You just have to do some measuring to make sure you get the appropriate one. Know the type of material your door is made out of. And then basically get a drill bit, you know, or a hole saw. And a some type of drill or, you know, uh, cordless, whatever. You know, Dewalt, whatever the case might be. And then install it yourself. They're really super easy to do. But if not, you can hire somebody to do it too. But if you don't have a peephole, people, you need to get one. I mean, that's that's a, that's got to be a priority for all of us out there. Also, uh, do you have uh, proper window shades and blinds on your windows? Can people just see in at night? Have you ever gone outside to look, see what it looks like? Do you live in an apartment where you're only you know limited to do? You can only do so many things or so much. You know, you need to look into stuff like that. Do you have a security system installed? <clears throat> you know, a, a wired system on your doors and windows, you know, motion detectors and all that jazz. Do you have that? So, you know, if you don't have good lighting around your house, you need to increase that. You can go get some little solar light systems that are really super easy to install. Hell, some of them don't even drill in. They just double-sided tape and you stick them on the fascia or wherever the case might be. And, and it's real simple, right? And they're fairly affordable, too. Um, you can get plenty of solar-type lights from the big box stores at a pretty decent rate right now. Um, so exterior lighting, effective doors and locks, right? On uh, Effective locks on your doors and gates, I should say. A peephole on your you know, front door, <clears throat> window shades and blinds, and then a security system. Do you have a active security system? You know that's wired in, and somebody monitors it, and you know calls the police if something happens or if there's a fire. That's a, another service they offer generally. But um, so that's that's you know six five six areas right there that for basic home security, it's it's fairly you know necessary right to be safe and then we're going to go into the enhanced you know home security enhanced enhanced i'm talking about for basically shtf so in in my enhanced section of home security everything i just mentioned above that is starts out with the enhanced okay so assuming that you got all those other areas covered in the basic category to go enhanced Again, you're going to need all those that I just mentioned. Plus, look at reinforcing your door frames um, with heavy-duty, like you know, lag screws or heavy-duty, uh, you know, wood screws that can, you know, three plus inches long that you can get through to those studs, you know, behind them, the plates, real easy, and be effective in basically, basically fortifying your door frame where it's not as easily kicked in or uh, damaged by a tool but i would seriously consider uh you know again reinforcing those door frames with heavy duty three inch plus screws you know 
three inches in length plus. <clears throat> um, I think you ought to also consider um, getting some plywood for, uh, the si cut the size of your window openings around your house, just like the people do during, during hurricanes or or prior to hurricanes land landing, and then also of course the the rioting and the uh, all that looting and rioting, you know, that they uh, always defend against uh, in certain parts of the United States. But you can get some good thick plywood, um, you know, cut to fit your window openings and you can attach those, uh, you know, install those from the exterior should it become necessary. And they also, you know, you can also use steel panels, like steel roofing panels um, as well. And those aren't readily as, you know, readily going to catch fire as wood products would. And they also have these steel security shutters and uh, screens now, too. Like for hurricane-prone areas, they'll have, uh, you know, basically an automated uh, steel shutter that will roll down and secure over the windows and doors. And basically riot-proof hurricane proof etc so those are really handy now they're expensive but uh that's something to consider you know going forward um so steel security shutters and screens also you might want to think about protection dogs you know um there's a lot of different breeds out there that are suited for personal security uh guard dogs basically and uh, something that you probably ought to research if it's if it's in your wheelhouse to do you know, a good protection dog is, is pretty uh, pretty useful when bad times are upon us or there's bad people, uh, you know, trying to uh, <clears throat> breach your perimeter, get in your house or whatever the case might be. But good protection dogs are worth their weight in gold, that's for sure. And then also, um, and with regards to blinds and window coverings, you can also get these, you know, blackout curtains that are basically just straight up just darkness you know and a lot of day sleepers get these things because it just totally blocks out everything you might want to consider getting some of those blackout curtains as well and then uh, you know of course the enhanced has got to include you know firearms for self-defense you know home defense of course and um you know that goes without saying hopefully you, according to my last video Hopefully people, you know, got something out of that. And if you don't own a firearm, have considered to go and get one uh, to, you know, increase your ability to defend yourself and your property uh, should SHTF occur or, you know, you just want the extra, extra, you know, um, peace of mind knowing that you can do something to defend your, your home should it come to that. So... <clears throat> home security is important you know I think you really ought to consider um, these things if you don't already have them in place and if you've got some other ideas please like you know please share them with us and uh, uh, please like share and subscribe this video and, and to my channel I would appreciate it um, always uh, appreciate the interaction and involvement with uh, my subscribers and also you know guests that just swing by so uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully everybody's prepped for a good week. Hopefully you were able to uh, accomplish some things um, this weekend with your preps. Um, I was able to score a few things and tighten up some areas that needed tightening up. And so I feel pretty good about that. But um, with that, hope everybody has a good week coming up. Keep prepping. Stack it deep. Long live the Republic.